up in smoke. That's where my money goes. In my lungs and sometimes up my nose. I don't let life's cares bother me. I take a toke and all my cares go up in smoke. Well, today is a very special edition of 42nd Street Pete's Grindhouse because today we are going to celebrate Cheech and Chong's contribution to the Grindhouse. Of course, there's only one way to do this. Now that's showtime. One more hit for the road here. I mean, before you get started. I mean, we need to find a proper balance to do this. And you'll notice I'm wearing this lovely uh, Cheech and Chong barbecue apron sent to me by a dear, dear person who's very dear to my heart, who I unfortunately let walk out of my life 20 years ago to my ultimate regret. And through some strange twist of fate, we were once again connected. So, my friend Janice had sent me this wonderful, wonderful Cheech and Chong apron. So I decided that uh, as sort of a tribute to her and our, you know, now friendship after so many years. And uh, like I said, it was a big regret on my part that I lost her. But we're back, we're friends, and it's all cool. So that's where I got this inspiration to do this wonderful Cheech and Chong stuff. A bong hit for, uh, on that account. Bong hit's necessary. And for those of you living in a state where this shit's actually legal, feel free to send me samples. But anyway, you could smoke in theaters back then. I mean, I remember the Elgin Theater, which was a small theater, and uh, you could get a contact high on the midnight shows when they showed Reefer Madness. But on 42nd Street, and I believe I saw Up in Smoke in the Times Square Theater, which is a pretty big theater, really big theater actually, there were just clouds and clouds of smoke because, let's face it, even though Up in Smoke was a main, you know, main comp film company, Paramount Pictures released it, all big hits when they opened up did play on 42nd Street opening day. So that's where it was. And uh, it was a crazy, crazy movie with uh, Cheech and Chong, Stacey Keach, some other people, um, Tom Skerritt, I believe. Um, Struther Martin as Tommy Chong's father. Um, it, he meets Cheech. Cheech is driving down in this, you know, uh, low rider or whatever, and Chong has broken down in his Volkswagen by the side of the road and acts like a chick to get pulled over, and they smoke this dog, this doobie laced with, with dog shit, I believe. And uh, the whole smoke's pouring out of the car, which unfortunately me and my friends emulated with our vans, you know, after the movie. So it just follows their adventures. They go down to Mexico. Uh, Stacy Keach and his crew are a bunch of narcs, inept narcs following them. They drive a van made of marijuana, a dream of mine, back from Mexico. And when they get pulled over by a cop, of course, he walks by the tailpipe and gets a contact high and asks to eat their hot dog. This all culminates in a battle of the bands when all, all the smoke is sucked into this uh, band thing and they're playing Earache My Eye and, uh, you know, that whole deal with Sister Mary Elephants and stuff like that. So again, crazy film. Uh, it just stayed on 42nd Street, actually. It bounced back and forth to theaters. Um, then there was a sequel, Cheech and Chong's next movie, which had to be. And that one I saw at a re relatively sedate venue, the um, Essex Green uh, Theater in uh, West Orange, New Jersey, which you wouldn't associate with marijuana use, but there was heavy marijuana use that night, boys and girls. And that theater was smoked out. And this was Cheech in a dual role 
as his cousin, crazy cousin Red, because Cheech is priming to get laid that night by, uh, I can't remember her name, but the actress was in there, this Mexican chick anyway, but anyway, he pawns off his cousin uh, Red on Chong, and what Cheech really didn't know was that Red had a huge bag of great fucking weed, and they go to a massage parlor, they get kicked out of a restaurant, um, they end up in where uh, Red's field is, and all of a sudden they are abducted by aliens, and it ends with uh, Chong in the room trying to wake up Cheech, who fell asleep and never connected with that girl, and he offers him some space coke, and they just blow out of the roof, holding on to each other, and that was the second movie. The third movie was Nice Dreams, with, again, I forgot to mention that Pee Wee Herman was in, in the... Uh, Cheech and Chong's next movie as an irate hotel clerk who actually got arrested instead of, you know, the people who should have been arrested. So, now we're going into Nice Dreams, which basically was their third and probably the, the last of the good movies. Um, they did a couple more after that, which sort of, I don't know, they weren't that great. But anyway, um, this one they're selling dope out of an ice cream truck, and uh, they have their own farm and stuff like that. And there was something with this that this certain strain of marijuana will basically turn you into a lizard. And Stacy Keach is back as Sergeant Stendanko, and he's turning into a lizard from smoking this weed. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Timothy Leary's in that. They get locked up in a mental institution. Well, just Cheech does, and he's chained with his hands behind his back screaming, I just need somebody to scratch my balls, God damn it! So, again, um, I think uh, Pee Wee Herman is there as the hamburger man because they have all this money and shit like that. It disappears and he goes, I'm terribly sorry. I'm not sorry. Oh, whatever. He, he's crazy in that one. That was before he shot somebody in the back of the head in the movie theater. But anyway, that was the last one. They, they did Things Are Tough All Over. They did Still Smoking, which was a, a, a compendium of stuff they already did. And then 25 years later, they reunited to do... Hey, watch this. They took their act back on the road. I never got to see it, but I got to get this DVD, and they didn't lose a step with this whole thing. The old bits are just as fucking funny as when they first started. So, again, <laughs> great stuff, and they all wound up in the grindhouse over in New York. Um, even Cheech's solo movie, Born in, uh, was it Born in the USA, I think? I don't know, I wasn't watching at that point, but anyway, I've taken too many hits off of this, and I'm all fucked up now, and it's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so lucky you, I decided to do this thing, but maybe one more bong hit before we go. I don't know if you can get thrown off of YouTube for blatant marijuana use, but what the hell, but again, I'd like to thank Janice for this, and uh, like I said, I, you know, one of the big regrets of my life was having that end 20 years ago, but um, we've been talking, we're friends, everything's cool, so it's good shit. So on that happy note, I will say goodbye, thanks for subscribing, thanks for tuning in, and we'll have more mayhem next week, because it's Friday and I'm going to take the weekend off, because it's fucking cold and there's a snowmageddon and all this other shit happening. So again, if you're out in the snow areas, Michigan, Great Lakes area, stay in, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.